When I think about sexting, I often think of President Warren G. Harding and his love letters to Carrie Fulton Phillips. Carrie was married to Warren's best friend, but that did not stop him from having an affair with her for 15 years, frequently writing her love letters that referred to his penis as Jerry. Here's a word-for-word, 100% -word, real excerpt from one of his letters. My darling Carrie, Jerry was pondering your notes in glad reflection and we talked about it. He was strongly interested and elated and clung to discussion. He told me to say that you were the best and darlingest in the world and if he could have but one wish, it would be to be held in your darling embrace and be thrilled by your pink lips that convey the surpassing rapture of human touch and the unspeakable joy of love's surpassing embrace. I cordially agreed with all he said. I don't know why it's so surprising to think that back in the 1800s, men were still finding ways to send unsolicited dick pics. Oh, what is it, Matilda? He, he, he drew me a portrait. Oh, well, that's nice. No, no, it's, it's just a portrait of his... Oh! Like, when was the first one? Caveman times? <gasps> <laughs> I'm getting off track. As soon as Warren received the presidential nomination, Carrie threatened to go public unless she got some cash cash money. Maybe solidifying her place in history as the first case of revenge porn blackmail. Shame on you, Carrie. This is why we can't have nude things. Warren could not bear the thought of Carrie releasing their correspondence because, let's face it, who wants the nation to hear that you said, Wouldn't you like to get sopping wet out on Superior? Not the lake. For the joy of fevered fondling and melting kisses. This whole thing, Kelly, did you ever get sopping wet on the lake? Again, that is a direct quote. Which brings me to the age old question to sext or not to sext? And my friends, all I can say is, if you're a consenting adult, as long as you call your genitals Jerry and send the most embarrassing captions possible, why the hell not? As long as you're okay with going down in the history books as having seriously said, Wish I could take you to Mount Jerry. Oh, <laughs> it's a wonderful spot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> I'm going to get laid upon <laughs> his return in a fortnight. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> you must. You must land on Mount Jerry. Oh, yes, after all, I have these birthing tips. <laughs> oh, yes, darling. Perfect for the penis. <laughs> then have at it. I'm Anna Akana, and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's Jerry. Squarespace is an all in one platform to build a beautiful and online Jerry and run your business, complete with Jerry and marketing tools and analytics to have your Jerry be the best it could be. For all of you who love to create audio content, you can use Audio Blocks, which allows you to Jerry audio onto your site and tag the audio for iTunes when your audio block is placed in a block. Plus, you can have multiple Jerry's receive selective access to your site's website manager. And don't Jerry, you own all the content you put on the Squarespace platform. Plus, they offer one-click data portability, Jerry. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anna to save 10% off your first purchase of a Jerry or a Jerry. Squarespace. Jerry. <laughs>